One after another, police chiefs told the government we are not ready to legalize pot by the July 1st, 2018 deadline. Then, provincial justice ministers met with their federal counterpart this week to try to find answers as the legalization is just 10 months away. They too are worried about the deadline. So what's the rush? Would the Liberals actually delay the law to find out? I'm joined now by the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Justice and the Liberals' point person on this file. The former Police Chief Bill Blair is here. Also, Marilyn Gladue, who is the Conservative Health Critic, joins us. And Don Davies, the NDP Health Critic, is also here. Good to see all of you. Great to be with you, Evan. You heard your former Police Chief. You heard from Police Chiefs. Yep. You've heard from Justice Ministers. They've all got real concerns. We're not ready. The timeline's too short. What is the rush to do this so quickly? Well, let me, first of all, be really clear on what the Police Chief actually said. When the, when, the, when the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police came and presented to the Parliament, they said, we need to know about resource allocation and, 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 and the funding because we need those resources to do this job. And so we need the particulars on that. We've made that announcement and I've shared that information with them and we're, get, we're putting more than $274 million into, into training and making sure they have the tools and equipment. They also said they need time to train their officers and that work is, is, is undergo, underway right now. I've been working with the police chiefs for almost two years on this file. And what they came in and said, we need to know the money's there and we need the training. And if those things aren't done, we then want a postponement. They didn't say we can't do this. They said we can only do okay, this if you, we get these things. Are you open to a postponement? Because you've heard from justice ministers, police chiefs. Are you open? Because I, time's I, ticking I to very postpone much, it. I, I very much respect th what they've told us. But I also will find compelling when the Canadian Public Health Association and the Canadian Pediatrics Society comes before our committee and says, the risk to our kids now is completely unacceptable. We have the highest rates of cannabis use among young people of any country in the world. I also know, because I chaired the Organized Crime Committee in this country for over a decade, that organized crime is making billions of dollars in profit from this, from this criminal enterprise. It's the easiest money they make. And I find it completely unacceptable that we're going to leave our kids in, in a, a, a very dangerous jeopardy by, 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 by not regulating this market and letting okay, them have well, ready access well, this to is it. it. It's, it's so urgent, says the, the government, that they've got to do it now. What's your view on it? No, that? the reality is kids are smoking it now. They're going to do it whether it's legal or whether it's illegal. And we've heard consistently from not just the police chiefs, but we heard from the provinces. They're not ready with their plans. And the police did say they weren't prepared to enforce. They had great concerns about the home grow enforcement. They had concerns about impaired drug driving and not being prepared with the testing. The testing that's only available currently in the U.S. and, and it's backed up, obviously, with their pace of legislation. So, yeah, what's the hurry? 288 days left. Uh, the Indigenous population said for sure they're not ready. And there are huge gaps in the legislation that we heard from so various they're parties. Rushing it. They're rushing it. Why? Um, I think that uh, Justin Trudeau is, is using this. He thinks he got the vote because people wanted it legalized, and he wants to get that vote again coming up on an election, and he's done nothing. What, what do you think about this, Mr. Davies? Well, <clears throat> uh, with great respect to, to Mr. Blair, the, the, the evidence that he recited is not the evidence I heard. I, I heard the police say very clearly their exact words were it would be impossible for them to be ready to enforce this legislation by July 1 next year. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't qualified uh, in the way he said. Um, I was uh, leading the questioning, I think, on uh, to Chief Isidore Day, who told me the Assembly of First Nations was not consulted on this bill, who said that the, the task force recommendations that the federal government lead talks with governments to build the capacities that they needed, enforcement, regulation, uh, d distribution, has not been conducted with the First Nations in this country on a government-to-government -government basis. So, I so see you're convinced none of these there. folks are ready? Well, what we heard clearly from the uh, from the First Nations witnesses and the Métis Association was that they are not ready at all and will not be ready on July 1. Bill Blair, this is why many people are saying the reason that your government's rushing this is it's purely political. You don't want to fight the next election on the pot issue in 2019, so you're rushing it through, kind of damn the consequences by 2018 and, under and, the guise of safety. And, and Eva, let me respond to that, first of all. We, we brought this up as a major campaign platform issue in the 2015 election. We didn't just start to work on this. We, we've been working on this for two years. Last summer, we, we stood up an a expert panel, a, a task force that went across the country. They listened to hundreds of experts, including most of the people that have come before the committee this week and testified. They, they Look, they spoke to public health officials, law enforcement. We've been working with people in the justice field and problematic addictions. We've, we've been in speaking to the Aboriginal communities. 
We've, we've but had this. We're not ready. Well, so bump but, it six months. But then we brought forward the legislation in April, and, and we've now brought it before committee. Yes, the timeline's tight. Nobody denies that. There's a lot of work to do, but, the, but we have been working hard on this for over two years. And, and we've, 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 we were very clear we were going to do this and why we were going to do it. Those, that situation has not changed. The, the situation that currently exists, where organized crime is making billions of dollars and our kids are at risk, is unacceptable to us. And so we, oh, we, all the evidence has told Evan, us you know, that this is, this is the right thing to do, and, that, and, and the police it, said it it may, this is the right thing Colorado to do. The Colorado and Washington are that okay. you, you really need to have your public education out there to educate parents, to educate young people about the hazards, because there are serious hazards, and we've heard testimonies saying, you know, 30% increase in schizophrenic and psychotic disorders, depression, all kinds of uh, prone to addiction things that happen to young people that smoke under the age of 25. So so with, with all that in place, what has the government done in public education and, and a campaign? Nothing. We had one not-for-profit organization that's uh, sent something out to 100,000 parents. That's it. Well, with that's 288 a fair days to go. Why? No, okay, go ahead. Can I just jump in too? I mean, it, um, it's kind of ironic that the government's saying they've had to work on this for two years. Um, and that's how much work it took to present this legislation. But everybody else has less than, well, about 12 months to get ready for it because the legislation was only tabled in April. So um, a lot of the police forces were saying, yeah, they knew that legalization was coming, but they were waiting for the actual legislation and regulations to see what the details are. And, and I want to say, the provincial here's legislation. A, another big yeah. irony is that a gaping hole in this legislation is that it keeps illegal edibles, concentrates, and non-smokable products. And the answer you get from the government as to why, they need more time. That's what they said. They couldn't do it uh, because because these products, even though Colorado has has and, and Alaska and Washington have legalized these products, they're leaving that for another day into the future, and that's going to continue the black market right. in edible products. It's going to subject our youth to getting their products in an unregulated fashion. So I think the government's sucking and blowing at the same time, purely to meet an arbitrary political deadline that the prime minister has staked his reputation on. Uh, two things on that: on the public education point that Marilyn Gladue raises. It has seemed to me to be a failure that 10 months out, your government has not launched a, a national education program on driving under the influence, on education. Where you, why has your government waited so long to educate the public on this? Where's that national campaign? Well, first of all, uh, six months ago, we announced $9.6 million for a, that public education campaign, and Health Canada is working with a, a lot of partners across the country and, and our provincial partners. That, that discussion has been taking place. But when is it launched? To put that in, in place, that, that's ver, ver, going to be launched very, very shortly. And, and as far as the, the public education campaign around impaired driving, Again, we announced a very substantial bit of money that, that is, and, and we're working with the provinces and territories and with our health partners. These are press releases, not activities. Well, you've got to put the money up. And, and that's exactly what the police told us. And by the way, Don, go to their website and look at their written submission that they read to the committee. And it's very clear that they, that they, they, they said conditionally, if we don't get these two things, the money and the training, we can't do this. Okay, well, and so I we're going to make sure they here, get the money and the training. You're not in control of the timeline. The provinces have to, to actually make a lot of this legislation. If the provinces are slow, will that be enough for your government to say, you know what, there's still not enough time, we're going to push? Listen, this, I'm not, again, minimizing the, the, right. the, the challenge that the provinces face. Ontario's already announced it. New Brunswick has announced today. Quebec has given every indication right. that they're coming forward with their framework in, in the very near future. And so the provinces have been working on this. They didn't start with the introduction of this legislation. We've been in discussion with our provincial and territorial partners and with the municipalities and with law enforcement and health All professionals right. for well over two years on this. Bill Blair, Marilyn Gladden, Don Davis, I've got to leave it there. This discussion, long from over. I appreciate your time today.